great good things and giver of life come and abide in us and cleanse us from every sin and save our souls. So good one. Holy God, God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. The Lord, comes from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, is in the arm for me, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Send forth unto thee help from his sanctuary, and out of Zion let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine, and thy whole burnt offering let him flat fatten. The Lord grant thee according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy requests. Now have I known that the Lord has saved his anointed ones. He will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. In mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and have fallen, but we are risen and set upright. O Lord, save the king and hearken unto us in the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the king shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice the desire of his heart has thou granted unto him, and hast not denied him the requests of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days unto ages of ages. Great is his glory in thy salvation, and glory and majesty shalt thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessings forever and ever. Thou shalt gladden him and fill him with thy countenance. For the king opened to the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be bound on all thine enemies, let thy right hand find all that he fear. For thou wilt make them as an oven of fire to find all thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them sorely, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit will thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee. They have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their back among those that are thy remnant. Thou shalt make ready their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant of thy mighty acts. Holy God. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Grant to thy people victory over their enemies and by the, by the power of thy cross preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and thou who thy own good will is lifted up upon the cross of Christ our God. Bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. May glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in the name a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread who cannot be put to confusion, despite the representations of good and all praise to us, of us. Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave it for to God and alone our flood. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for all highest and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Say, Lord, have mercy, Lord. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Holy God, substantial life given to the divided Trinity, always, now and O Lord, open thou thy lips, and thy mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say of, unto my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God. But thou, o Lord, art of my help, or my glory, and the lift up on my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I lay me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are my enemies. The teeth of sinners thou hast broken, salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I lay me down and slept, thy woe, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chase me in thy wrath, for thy arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end. All the day long I went with downcast face, for my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly, and I have borne from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my burden is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things and craftiness all the day long, and could think none of me. And as for me, like deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no bruise. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never my enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, did those men speak boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But my enemies live and are made stronger than I. And they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render evil for good slander me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, be not far from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul has thirst for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. 
So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives, so my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed, and at the dawn I meditate on thee, for thou art become my helper, and in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleave after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portion for foxes shall they be, but the king shall be, in, be glad in God. Everyone, that, everyone be praised and sworeth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At, du at the dawn I meditate on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand to make quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, my day, and my pride, and my night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down my ear unto thy supplication. For fill with evils is my soul, and my life unto the Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from my hand. They lay me in the lowest pit, in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, and stretch out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders. Or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth in that destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten. But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles for my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long, they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me friend and neighbor, and thine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thy ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within thee, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all he hath done for thee. Who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performs the deeds of mercy and executes judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father had compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth, know, knoweth whereof we are made. He remember that we are. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him, and his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, and minister of his that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, my soul, in every place of his dominion. 
bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication, and thy truth hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for thy sight shall no man really be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, and he has humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those who have been long dead. And my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee like the water of this land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way where I should walk, for in thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me into the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shall not forgive me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy my enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. For God in our hope, glory to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God in the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, and for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of the United States and for all civil authorities and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and every city and land and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea by land and by air, the sick and the suffering, for captains and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Good day, o Lord. For unto the earth will glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. My spirit seek thee early in the night watches, for thy commandments are a light upon the earth.
At that time, the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes were seeking how to put Jesus to death, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the number of the twelve. And he went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers how he might betray Jesus to them. And they were glad and engaged to give him money. So he agreed and sought an opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of the multitude. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us, that we may eat it. They said to him, Where will you have us prepare it? Jesus said to them, Behold, when you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house which, which he enters, and tell the householder, The teacher says to you, Where is the guest room where I am to eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room furnished, there made ready. And they went and found it just as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. And when the hour came, Jesus sat at the table, and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that it, from now on I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him who betrays me is with me on the table. For the Son of Man goes as it has been determined. But woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to question among themselves which of them it was that would do this. A dispute arose among them, which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. And Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the leader as one who serves. For which is the greater, one who sits at table or one who serves? Is it not the one who sits at table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have continued with me in my trials, and I assign you, I assign to you, as my Father assigned to me, a kingdom, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you, that he might sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail, and when you have turned again, strengthen your brethren. And Simon said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you three times deny that you know me. And Jesus said to them, When I sent you out with no purse or bag or sandals, did you lack anything? And they said nothing. Jesus said to them, but now let him who has a purse take it, and likewise a bag, and let him who has no sword sell his mantle and buy one. For I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me, and he was reckoned with transgressors, for what is written about me has its fulfillment. And they said, Look, Lord, here are two swords. And Jesus said to them, It is enough. And Jesus came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. Glory to the Lord, glory to the Have mercy upon me, O God, according to my great mercy, and according to the multitude of my compassion, see all my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know that my iniquity and my sins are before me. Against you may have a sin that thou hast evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, thou hast conceived in iniquities and in sins, and they will bear thee. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this up, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made white as snow. Thou shalt make me pure to 
hands of righteousness, but only action and hope for no friends, then shall they offer floods upon thine altar.
He said openly that one of them was about to betray him, and he pointed out the betrayer by revealing that it was he that dipped his hand with me in the dish. And after Judas had straightway gone forth, Jesus gave his, the disciples his final and sublime instructions, which are contained in the first gospel reading of the Holy Passion. After this, the God-man went forth to the Mount of Olives, and there he began to be sorrowful and in anguish. He went off alone, and bending the knees, he prayed fervently. From his great anguish, his sweat became, as it were, great drops of blood falling to the ground. As soon as he had completed this, the anguished prayer, lo, Judas came with a multitude of soldiers and a great crowd, on greeting the teacher guilefully with a kiss, and he betrayed him. By thine ineffable compassion of Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.
Veil Tokos and Mother of Light, the light let us honor and magnify its song. Yeah. 
invisible hand from thy holy dwelling place, and bless us all. And if in aught we have sinned, whether voluntarily or involuntarily, forgive, and as much as thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, thou save thee unto us thy earthly and heavenly good things. For thine it is to show mercy and to save us, O our God, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
will die never unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Holy Mother, 
the supplication of the holy, glorious, and all honorable apostles, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonderworker, our Archbishop of Myra and Lycia, of the holy protomartyr and Archdeacon Stephen, our patron, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joan and Madonna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.